You should see a blinky red light. I hope you do, because I can't. We do. OK, thank you. So before we get started with our story, we have to add to our Santa beards. And today is the, what number are we on? Can someone tell me? December 9th, it's yeah. my son's birthday. That's right. So we are going to take our little food cotton ball. We're going to find the number nine. And we're going to add to Santa's beard. All right. So now, my friends, we are going to read the story Mussletoe. And I'm going to, so someone sees um, someone, you're going to have to let me know because I'm going to go to present mode and I won't be able to see you. But I want you to be able to see my pictures. We are going to read Mussletoe. Twas the season and Moose was merry. He joyfully tickled the ivories with a tune of tidings and a flurry of fa la la's. He was so full of ho ho ho's, even his mustache had the holiday spirit. But Moose was more than just a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was a lot to be done on his list of to-dos, but with orderly organization, a bit of rejuvenation, lots of imagination, and just plain old moose know-how, getting ready for the big day should have been simple, easy, yes. In all probabilities, just look at his long list of things to do. But he's saying, perfect, perfect. Do you make a list of things that you need to do at Christmas time? Yeah. I have a tiny list. He wasted not one merry minute. Moose got moving and put some hustle into the holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hoofs hurt. Check all done. He shot till he dropped. That's done. He hauled home boxes and bags and presents galore. Moose had gifts for everyone stacked from ceiling to floor. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Then he wrapped yo, 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 and he ribboned ho, ho, ho. And on each and every package, he tied a big, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. So, so far, he's played the piano, made cards, went, where did he go? My friends, where did he go? Didn't he go to the mall? Yeah, he went shopping. And then after he got done buying all those presents, what did he do with the presents? Wrapped them. He wrapped, he wrapped them. them, yes. I'm sorry, Miss Connie. I keep thinking you're going to try and trick me. <laughs> it's no where trick. You actually. <laughs> Another look at the another look at the list and Moose headed for the kitchen. He pulled out the pots, the pans, and the bowls, sifted through stacks of racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left, spooned with his right. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies. Check. 
dozens of cakes, breads, and sweets. Check, check, check. He made jelly, sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, 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 triple check. Yes, yes, so simple, so easy, but of course, so perfectly perfect. Decorations were up next on his list of things to do and get done. So Moose decked the halls, then spruced up the walls. He beaded and bowed and mistletoed. He gathered garlands, ropes, wreaths, and jollies, jingle bells, sang noels. Oh, good golly, this moose was my jolly. Check, 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 check. So we've played the piano, did Christmas cards, went shopping. What did I do after shopping? Wrapped presents. Wrapped presents. Then baked. Baked what? Baked. Baked and cooked. Yes. And now he decorated the halls. Last but not least, he hung up all the stockings <laughs> and each and every one with special care. And just in time too, because soon Santa would be there. <laughs> Check and final check. Yes, sirree. Getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap. So simple, so easy. And if he did say so himself, Moose thought totally, utterly, completely, perfectly perfect. Oh. On that night before Christmas, Mother, little sissy, Bucky and Junior looked all through the house. What a job Moose had done. Everything looked bountiful, festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh dear, sighed the missus as the five stared at one empty corner. Oh my, oh my, oh gee. Pat, what happened? cried Junior. You forgot the tree. Tree. Oh no. He sent out his cards. He went shopping. He wrapped gifts. He did cooking. He decorated. Pot. Oh my goodness. No Christmas tree. Oops. Where would they hang the tinsel, string the popcorn, light the lights? <laughs> Where would Santa leave his gifts for the kitties on Christmas Eve night? Oh, so Moose pulled on his galoshes and put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere, somehow. And that was all there was to that. So out he went to, so out went the Moose braving blustery blowing winds in the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous and bold. So they're all watching him go. Moose first hoofed it down to the corner, not a tree to be had. Then he slid around the block. Uh-oh, things were looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked down the lanes and the alleys. Every tree had been sold. There wasn't a branch, not a twig, not even one lousy bowless bough hanging around. Nope, not a nothing, not a tree to be found. No tree, sighed a sad moose as he came home empty-handed that snowy eve. The kids tried to make the best of it. They said, oh, so who needs a tree? But moose could plainly see they were short on the glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's what he did. In the empty corner, he stood and spread his arms out very wide. Then he smiled at his children and he winked at his bride. 
kids, he declared, fetch your forgetful pot, some of that tried and true family glock. What in the world do you think Moose is going to do? So back came the kids carrying a big pot of glue. And without a word to one another, they knew just what to do. They each took apart, grabbing strands, taking hold, then carefully, oh, so carefully, they glocked and they plopped, they pasted and then pressed, then curled and twirled every which way a thoughtful could fan them until Moose's magnificent mustache was indeed even more of a marvel to see. Moose was just a few needles shy of being an evergreen tree they strung Moose with lights from his head to his toes and draped him with tinsel, beginning right with his nose. They hung balls that were shiny and bells that twinkled, candy canes, berries, and plums, plums sugared sprinkles. Then they all stood back. Junior plugged in his pot. Oh, ah. Yes, Moose truly was one incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing. Oh boy, oh boy, was he ever bright. <clears throat> then Junior placed the star on top of Moose's head. He gave him a kiss and a pat and they all had it off to bed, <laughs> except Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead, still twinkling and blinkling and waited for Santa. Oh, so it wasn't so simple and it wasn't so easy. And okay, okay, it wasn't so perfectly perfect. But do you know what? It was pretty close. Ho, ho, ho. So what did they do instead of using a Christmas tree? They used moose. Yes. And if you look at our last picture, right here is the star on top of Moose's head and Moose's eyes. But who's this? It's Miss Ashley peeking. Oh. Uh, I think it fun. might be a jolly old elf called Santa Claus. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Santa came. All ultimate right. So. And ultimate love for family. Yes, absolutely. So Santa's little elf got into your work <laughs> packets and he took this sheet out. So we're just going to skip this. But as you can see, there's a picture of Moose. And here are six bulbs. And we're going to look at Moose's to-do list. Check, check, check. So what happened first? So we're going to need our ABC cards. And you can see at the bottom, it says, glue your pictures in the first box. Because we didn't find out that the elf took out the worksheet until after this was all done. So we're going to ignore that and we're just going to answer the questions together. What happened first? Did A, Moose bake? B, did Moose make Christmas cards and fill them out to send out? Or C, did Moose wrap presents? What did he do first? <laughs> Yes, look at all my friends. They are all telling me, B, you are right. The first thing Moose did was make Christmas cards or to write them out to send to his friends. What happened second? Did he A, bake, B, go shopping, or C, wrap presents? <clears throat> yes, 
and I can see all my friends are holding up their B card and you're right, he went shopping. After he went shopping, then what did he do? Did he bake luscious cookies? B, hang up the stockings? Or C, wrap the presents? Got some smart good. cookies in our group. Yeah. Nice look job. At smart cookies. You're right. He wrapped the present. Okay. So we have done up our Christmas cards, went shopping, wrapped presents. Okay. And then what did he do? <clears throat> A, cut cookies and other baked goods. B, hung up. <clears throat> garlands and decorate the halls or C Connie's having problems this morning hung up the stockings so let's think in our story after he wrapped the presents what did he do I gave a hint mm, let me see I can see a couple of different answers Yes, all of my friends who said <laughs> A were correct. He did baking. I want to know, do any of you bake at Christmas time? Or help your moms bake or your aunts? I've already started my baking. Ah, yes, I see. Destiny says yes, she helps cook at Christmas time. Ashley has her hand up. She's saying yes. <laughs> I'm baking cookies this weekend. I'm excited. All right. My daughter-in-law has to do her peanut butter balls yet. All right. After he got done baking, did he A, wrap more gifts? B, <laughs> hung up the stockings? Or C, decorated the halls with wreaths oh. and garland? Yes, my friends are right again. Then he decorated. Oh my goodness. I'm tired. I bet Moose was too. He did his cards, he went shopping, he wrapped gifts, he baked cookies, he decorated the halls. Then what? Did he A, wrap more presents? B, hung up the stockings with care? Or he went shopping again. <laughs> yes, B. He hung up stockings. <laughs> Do you hang up stockings at your house? I know some, yeah, some people do not. Oh, but I see Destiny <laughs> does and AJ. If you look, mine are in the back. Oh, and Miss Carla and Miss Denise. I got to get where I can see my other hand here. Oh, my in the background. Margaret does, and Kasha does, and Lori oh. does. I usually do, but I haven't got to that yet at my house. What did Moose or Pop, as his children called him, forget? Did he forget the tree? A. Eh? B, he forgot to buy eggnog, or C, he forgot to hang up the bells. <clears throat> yes, my friends were really listening. He forgot the Christmas tree. Okay, so what did they do for a Christmas tree? Did they A, use cardboard? B, did they make a poster and hang on the wall? Or C, they decorated moose? And all of my friends agree, they decorated moose. All right, so in your packets, 
And because of time, I'm sorry, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the story, but because we're almost ready for Zoom news, mm -hmm. I want to tell you about the two activities that the elves did leave in your packet. The first one is a recipe if you and your family would like to do it. You use popcorn and small marshmallows and chocolate chips and you mix it all together and put it in a bag to snack on and it's called moose munch. So in there is the tags if you want to make some and the recipe. The other thing you received was a game and I want to show you. So I got to stop sharing my screen so I can show you the game because the game is behind me. So we're going to try this, guys. You're going to have to let me know if you can't see it. I'm going to take your over here to my board. And can you see it? Huh. On my board is a and it's a strip of reindeer and pardon me it's, the glare is pretty bad yeah all right let me see how am i going to do this <laughs> not glaring hmm. i tell you what i have another way i can show you let me try this oh. see if it works better hmm. okay maybe that'll be better so you have a strip of reindeer and you're going to cut it out and then tape it together. So it starts with the number two and it ends with the number 12. <laughs> and then you were given some little pieces. <laughs> a set of presents and a set of candy canes that you cut out. And then you take and you lay your strip on a table and then under each number, it, two people can play or you can play by yourself. And if you play by yourself, you just choose one, either the candy canes or the presents and you put them under <coughs> each number. Then in your packet was this little container that had two dice in it. And what's cool about this container is you can use it as a shaker. So when it's my turn, I just shake it up and then I lay it on the table like this. And I can see right through the top of the container and then I don't have to pick up my dice. So I count the numbers of the dots. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I find the number six and I am the present. I find number six and I pull my present away. And then it's the other person's turn. And we keep doing this until one of us get all our pieces taken up. So if I roll my dice again and it comes to number six, I lose my turn because I already have that one and it's the next person's turn. This is a great way to practice counting and recognizing our numbers. So I hope you will take time to play the game that we have provided you. And turn taking, Miss Connie. Yes, and turn taking. And I hope you enjoyed today's story. So this morning we have, according to my clock, we have three minutes to join um, Tiger Zoom News. After Zoom News today is movement and music. Mm -hmm with Miss um, Angie and Miss Tomoko. And then at 11.30, it is T&T and Six News with your teachers at 11.30. So I hope you will join us. Miss Connie, before you say goodbye, we need to talk about our December to Remember Day and take a screenshot of every... You are right. Today was a light up day. Oh, and Destiny has a light up necklace on, and AJ <laughs> has lights by him. I mean, can you take a screenshot of everybody? I'm going to try. Okay, one, two, three. All right, I got it. 
Thank you, Ashley, for reminding me that. Oh my goodness, we have light up shirts and all kinds of cool things in here. <clears throat> well, friends, I'm sorry. I don't want to make you late for Miss Amy. So we will see you at 1130 today. Bye. Hey, friends.